So we're in the Hague. It's AV Sparta, local athletics club. All the park runners are meeting over there. I thought we should show you the... We're not going to run around here, we're going to run around the park. So I haven't been here in a while. All right, Chris. Uh, so I actually first ran here, it's out of part three. I missed the first two because I was traveling, so I used to live here. And then uh, I haven't been back here since last May, 2022. So it's been almost 18 months since I ran here. And in fact, since I lived here. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a return home in many ways. It was the park run that I was first uh, volunteering at and so on to meet around the far side of this building but now we've got access to here there's a cafe in there and facilities as well as obviously a running track um, so uh, it's good job somebody reminded me because I would have been waiting around the other side of the building this morning wondering where everybody was yeah. so there's everybody gathering so I think the first time is briefing is about to start that's the start of the race itself and then we start from just over there and finish here. So it's two laps, just two straight laps. It's one of the most uh, easy courses to get to grips with because it's just a loop. It's like the peripheral road of the of the park itself. So you just two two laps, totally flat, very quick. It's a very good one for getting a nice rhythm for runnings, which is perfect for me. Um, this will be, I'm hoping, first second time that I've actually run 5k continuously since I broke my ankle so I'm just going to use it as a training run and a nice rhythm run it's like running on a track apart from that track is two and a half kilometers long rather than 400 meters that's it so there's the first time as briefing so it gives you an idea this is because it's a Z it's very popular uh, you have a kill walker so it's a really, really big group today. Uh, or they might be like me, they might have just got stranded here because KLM decided to cancel our flight yesterday. So that's actually the reason I'm here, and my wife, um, Deb, because KLM cancelled right at the last minute. So we thought we'll, we'll make the most of it. We were due to be running in Swanage this morning um, in southern England. And uh, so we had to cancel that. <laughs> And I'm supposed to be orienteering tomorrow, so I've got to cancel. Well, I can't cancel that, that's, that's money gone. Um, but anyway, we thought we'd make the most of it and come to visit old friends at Zelda Park. <laughs> So Joel is the run director today, so he's giving the briefing, so I'm just going to see how many people there are today. So when we first started the Zelda Park, we'd get around about 30 people, kind of max, and then of course we were, that was during lockdown, uh, or just after lockdown, so for a long time it was only people who were resident in the Netherlands. Uh, and then more and more tourists started to come, which is nice. We started seeing more and more people. the finish line coming through. I'm going to stop at the back and uh, warm my knees up and my ankle. And you, you're from Kettering as yes, well you yes, said, yeah. yeah, so 250? No, 200. Oh, 200, yeah, yeah two, 200. Right, off we go. Oh, missed the start there. What are we like? Or what am I like? There is Hannah. Hi, Sadie. Hannah's doing 150th uh, volunteering and has prepared some cakes which we weren't allowed to eat at the start, which was, I think, a bit rough. Yeah. You can see the field stretching out nicely. 
to come past the mini railway. Always avoiding the cyclists. Been to the Netherlands after all. It's well and truly on the back straight now. So in the second kilometre. So hopefully, I'm not sure. I'm a bit slow. So I'm probably going to be about 16 minutes do the first lap. Uh, if we got very fast front runners, they might overtake me and finish just as I'm starting my second lap, but we'll see. So there you can see, as we come to the sports centre again, that's where we used to finish. See that trail there? Now we go around to the back of the sports centre and duck in at the athletic stadium. So here we come around the other side of the sports centre where we started and then you can see the finish coming off here. I don't think they've caught me yet. There's the finish line. So one more round. From the way. Thank you, Bill. Thanks. So you know let up now, so watch out for the train. On to lap two. Big climb up and over the bridge. Down on the ascent. There we go. Climb number two done. No, I'm. I've had so many injuries. I uh, the soft stuff's what I prefer. I <laughs> think we had some lands in this happened down shortly. All right. I'm with Patrick here. So where are you from? I'm Belfast. I'm oh, Belfast, right? Yeah. Uh, from Southampton, Southampton, but I used to live here, so this is my my return. <laughs> okay, okay. And then a mark from Belfast. What's the meaning I'm struggling for his back. Yeah, I'm not back. Oh no. Did you uh, get a kidney? I did. You did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, well, this challenge we're doing is for our friend's son who had a, who got diagnosed with cancer as a three-year-old. Um, he's all clear now. Good. Uh, but he's uh, he had proton beam proton beam therapy in Manchester. Okay. Uh, he had 60 lots of it. So yeah, we're trying to. Uh, I didn't see that. Went every day for 60 days. Oh, that's amazing. Been, it's completely killing me. But, uh, well, it would do anybody, but one year, within a year of a kidney transplant, that's yeah, just yeah. staggering, Andy. Yeah. yeah. All you got to have, you just got to keep going, haven't you? That's all you can do. That's it. Thanks again, Marshall. Thanks, Marshall. Hello, right. guys. Uh, all right, well done. There's Mark, Andy, oh, we're getting overtaken. Thanks again. Well done. Go for it. Hi Joel, thanks a lot, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. How's everybody doing doing today? How's everybody been doing today? Doing really well. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get overtaken but <laughs> And so I'm Chris for Hannah's handing out cakes on our 150th volunteering. It's brilliant. Mm. Such a bit of a run post-mortem.
with Graham there on the right, the tall one, and then Warren on the left and Cora and Deb. I'm just completing. Uh, <laughs> 200. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. 200. So have you did? Did I hear you just done your alphabet? Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. There we go. That's great. So this is your Z today, was it? So, yeah. 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 So. Oh, you've got different. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, congratulations. That's really good. Sorry. Andy and Wendell Apple. Yeah. So just doing their alphabet run. Fantastic job. Right. So two of you, so it's 250th. Yeah. But it's yeah. your 49th different location. run. So yeah. next week is your 50th yes, different location. Is, yes. Brilliant. Yes. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank anyway, thank you. great stuff. This is the Café Parcours going to, so you can get a coffee at the, uh, the sports centre, but that's it, this is where you can get food as well.